Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Or pizza? Pizza? You want pizza first? It's already recording now. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you gotta beat the game before you can have pizza. Hello! In the interest of speedrunning, can you just let us up? Look, sir, they've collected a ton of pages for the one book. Maybe we should let them come up. Quack, stop winking at me. I'm flattered, but once bitten twice. Uh, oh, yes, you too. Um, well done on the pagey quest. What is it come and face world? me like a man. Why don't you come up and attempt a hostile takeover of your precious book? Ha ha. It's a lovely elevator. Alright. Run away! Let's, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's boy. no turning back now. I feel like I'm gonna get really frustrated. Nah, you got it. <laughs> a piece of cake. I gotta collect 175 gems. Or 150 gems. It might be like not right to the boss, though. It might be might be a quiz or something first. Oh, quiz. Welcome to the bonus round. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Quack. What? You said we are finished with the quizzes! I do remember that. I do too. I lied! As usual, there are ten questions that need answering correctly, and only three lives. And watch out, contestants. These questions are extra tough. Mwahahaha! Alright, here we go. Now, if you get two... If you answer quickly, you get to go two spaces. Pagey's legal property of Hyrule Towers, how many do you have in total? 101. Easy. Fiddlesticks, how did you get that one? <laughs> oh man. I, I mean... paused the game and looked at my inventory. Double curses, a super quick, quick, correct answer. That's a two pointer. Two pointer! Capital Casino, how many tiles are on the tile match game? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 16. But you've been reading Yugopedia, haven't you? I actually went back and watched your previous episode. While I was there, I, I didn't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> this adventure's buddy duos, which is the greatest of them all? Did you guess on that one? No. Amazing Flaming Capital B. Cloud. These are clearly <laughs> too easy. It was amazing, uh, amazing Incredible Captain B and uh, the Dr. Quack. No. <laughs> it's just sucked up to him. The right answer is always what they want to hear. Ah. The world with the gambling games. What is its correct name? Capital Casino. Slotty is Station that your was final a good one. Answer? Fiddlesticks, how did you get that one? How did we do so bad the first time? <laughs> Capital B and Yuka, who would win in a fight? Capital B. <laughs> Crackers, I knew I should have made these harder. Impossible! You've beaten the final most challenging Quackfire quiz. What do we win? A ham? Some nice plates? Fine, I won't stop you confronting the boss, but make no mistake, you'll be the real loser in that tussle. Mwahaha. I did pretty darn alright at that. You answered each question in a second. Now, can you beat the boss in half a second? I still got 25 minutes to do that. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I haven't broken this controller. <laughs> it's a durable <laughs> one. Capital B's office. Finally, I was about to stick my out of office on and hit the golf course. Oh, you want to skip? No, no, no. <laughs> Oi, Yuka, and this is Laylee. And we're here to take our book back. I know who you are, you green goon. 
You know, do that X being there? Huh? Oh, you're good. Oh. You're the pair who have been collecting the magical pages for me, and now you've delivered them right into my hands. You fools! That X means... Allowing you to complete your adventure has been terribly dull, but now it's time to end it for good and complete our sinister scheme. I'm about to die a lot and visit this dialogue a bunch. If you want these pages, you'll have to take them from us! Very well. Hostile negotiations it is. Try to keep up, freaks. Oh, we're gonna lean for it. Have fun. Hey, he said, hey, um, there goes Dr. Try Frank. to keep up. It's gonna be a race. Great. Cartos. A mouth race. Fight. Battle. He knocked over the bubblegum duck. I think he's gotta go on the green thing. Checking out the old office. Dude, if I ever get my own office? office, I want two massive gold statues of me. <laughs> on either side. <laughs> Up you go. And a, how about a, um, a high-back chair that's 20 times your size? Right. <laughs> Idiots, I can't believe you followed me into my personal pulverization chamber. <laughs> It said, stationary cupboard on the elevator buttons. Your time trespassing on our premises is over, cruddy duo. After I've made you redundant, the pages will be mine. And using their power, our organization will rewrite the universe. Prepare to witness my impressive short-term growth. He's cheating. <laughs> Capital B, crowdfunded corporate creep. That's disappointingly small amount of growth. <laughs> Go. <laughs> that tonic was on Vindy's menu. Let's teach this guy a lesson, Laylee. You had a whole lot of dialogue there. But if you do. All right. Oh, that's... Oh, there's the B-team. Oi. Alright, when do you think I hit him? Um, now. Now? Now. How do you want me to hit him? Uh, with your buddy slam, I guess? I don't know. How do you hit anything? Your tail whip or whatever, just a regular attack, I guess. Whip it. But don't get hit by bees. Oof. Nope. Nope. It was a valiant effort. Nope, not that either. Capital B ball fight. Okay, I don't hit the, the I don't hit the hive back to me either. Good lord. So I definitely have to outrun the hive for the first part. Just so you know, there are four phases to this guy. And we have yet to figure out phase one. You uh, try a solar explosion, you haven't done that yet. No, I have not.
Nice. Does that do a thing? I think it's doing something. He likes it though. He likes it though. <laughs> he likes it. He really likes it. Mikey, he likes it. I think you use that to stun him, and then you can just go like hit him regularly. You got it this time. Oh yeah, totally got it. Completely under control. That one didn't count. It was a practice one. Just watch out for bee bombs. So I need to outrun the bees, because the bees disappear after a minute. <laughs> Missed him. You ain't gonna have enough juice. You run running out of bat juice. Ow. Got a cheap shot. Oh, so the bees like stopped right before the you, you did it. You won. Is that phase one? <laughs> That was phase point two. You think it'll take 17 hits like all the other bosses do? Right. So I found with this one, all I gotta do is get close to him. Like so. And as soon as I start this, the bees don't get me. Yep. And like, is he like swallow him or something? I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like he's choking on his own bees. Alright, that's all four phases. We're done. I wonder if you get any, any of your health back at any point. Like butterflies appear? Yeah. Maybe in like in between phases you get a chance to refill some of your health. That would be the bee's knees. Get it? I feel like I'm not doing something like bees. Ah, there we go. Ow, threatening my stocks and shares. Oof. <laughs> Quack, you foul fool. Send me up some corporate backup. And whatever you do, don't get the corporate crates mixed up with the ammo crates. Alright, and this is where it saves. So I'll have to do that part again. They're on their way, sir. Fresh off the production line. Here come some goonies. Maybe they'll give you butterflies. Giving you butterflies. Come on down. It says, yeah, there's something in those boxes. Blast him. Probably none of them has given me any type of butterfly. Hard to hit. He's 
too high. Ah, oh, my gosh. I didn't know. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. So I don't think I'm supposed to hit him then. Oh no. Starting all the way back over. Yeah, that'll be long. One long episode. He says as he tosses a grenade at you, jump over it and towards him. And while hanging in the air with your glide, shoot ice projectiles at him. Oh, so you can glide and shoot too. So, he throws it, I jump over it. Yeah, and with the, the glide ability, and you can shoot him at the same time. Ow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> phase two. All right. If I can at least get to phase three and I can get a phase every, every try. <clears throat> All right. There you go. Perfect. I mean, it was a good dodge. I think it's more annoying to him than it is hurting him. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Taking a lot of hits. Yeah, I feel like I'm not doing something right. Oh, well, I didn't see anything that you're doing wrong. Oh, he came down. Huh? He came down to talk. Oh, okay. That is right. Time to take this boardroom. <laughs> Time to take this boardroom <laughs> struggle to the next level. As long as it means I get help. Quack, activate the wall and roof lasers. Okay, arm. The buttons are look so similar. Quack. 
quack, you old bird brain! Oops, um, I think I hear the phone ringing. I'd best go answer it. What? Don't touch the green, maybe? Alright, don't touch the green. Don't fall under him. Oof, heavy landing. Ah, okay, this one's... Figure this one out. Okay, good. This one's uh, basically like the octopus and the, uh, except with a B. It's exactly like the final fight in uh, Super Mario 64. <laughs> yeah, cool. Grr, time to invest in more toxic ooze and increase your share holding in pain. I promise I'll have one butterfly. Uh oh. That is a problem. Oh, why didn't he fall that time? I wonder if I have to uh, Sonic Blast it, the bees. Man, it don't cut you a break with the stages. Woo! The phases, I mean. Last round, I lost like yeah, four you were right. butterflies. Yeah, you right. the Thomer explosion in there. All right, here we go. See, like, there's no... Wait a second, this I look. I'm doing pretty good timing so far. How you doing on uh, butterflies? Pretty good. Three pretty down. Good. I'm so glad that there's not 200 feathers I also have to collect during this. I like in this one he tells you when he's hurt enough for you to kick him. That's a good hit. See, like I feel like that was such an easy round three in comparison to what was just the 20 minutes of round two. Oh, yeah. There's still one more phase after this one. So I think when he stays down here... You did it. He's gonna call for more bees. He's gonna make four of these jump things. Got him. Alright, is that four? I don't know. Let's see, it still might be part uh, no, three. No, must be part threes. And he just... Says he'll trade out the bee bombs for more grenades that also form smaller yellow shockwaves. Utilize glide to stay airborne over the shockwaves until you can safely land and attack him. Be wary of the final part of this phase when he throws both bee bombs and shockwaves into the mix. Yep, I'm there. Yeah, there's a lot of shockwaves going on. And bees and grenades, too. No bees, thankfully. But these bee grenade things. I think he's going to start doing bees, too, though. So he's going to take out the three more chunks, so it's just like one path almost. Yep. I have a feeling bees are coming into the mix now. This is just like the final battle in Super Mario 64. You got bees, yo! Huh. Oh, oh no, 
happened there? Oh, I thought I could take him while I had him right there. This is still phase three. I don't have <laughs> but three for the rest of phase three. Yep. All right, time for the capital to soar and release some explosive equity. You types never learn. You always end up taking your sails down. Oh, this is the longest one. No, it ain't. <laughs> Possibly the most annoying and toughest phase. <laughs> Capital B will take you to the sky and start shooting homing missile stingers at you. These can be difficult to avoid once the homing kicks in. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> you can't outrun them on foot, and they are difficult to dodge or to the sides. The so, best way to get back at him is to use Flappy Flight to float up and behind him if the missiles come towards you and let the attacks hit him instead. Oh my gosh. What? If you get trapped on the ground, you try using Sonar Shield to stop the missiles. Oh, you gotta go like above him though. With flat, you oh, see, you're, the other you're flying. To, yeah, you're trying to glide instead of fly. And we're back for the final, final episode. Because the final episode, we, we tricked you. This is all getting You may see anyways. footage from the final episode. Right. This may be in the middle of the final episode, to be honest. Editing. It's special. So we decided to go back and get a few power-ups before taking on the final boss. Because uh, here in our start menu on our totals, I can get a little more... Oh, there we are. Totals. A little more health and a little more power. And... Boy, and, do I need it. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to take a tonic that helps our energy replenish faster. I think we figured it out. And if we don't win after this, uh, somebody just needs to up their gaming skills. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the way cool ga gamer, is it? All right, so that's the heart. We also need power. Power coming next. Um, and this heart was here. In case you were wondering where that heart is, you should recognize Ship that from the beginning of the game. Oh, that's where the start menu is. Should yeah, we do that's... a little cameo for everyone? Yeah. That's where you start. We'll just lay down right here. Perfect. How come the bat has a bigger towel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So okay. dry your hair. <laughs> anyway, for the... Power extender. Just inside the entrance to Hyvory Tower stands a giant statue of Capital B. After learning the Buddy Slam move, climb onto the statue's nose and hit it with a power with this move to reveal the power extender. I just smash Capital B's statue nose. All the way back. Alright. I wonder what that button did. The one on the side of the wall. <laughs> what? There was a button up there on the side of the wall. To your left now. Up there on the cliff? Yeah, right up there. It's a pipe. Oh, my bad. Looks like a button. You probably... I'll go smash it anyway. Right. I, I want to think that there's something of these. Because what a weird detail <laughs> to add. Yeah. Don't tell me that's not a button. Oh no. But if we had to get all the way to the end now. I was just at the end. There would be like a little hyperlapse of me running in circles. Oh. I wasn't watching that part. I was looking for the walkthrough. Let's see. It's... You just went past it. Or past what? You want to go for the power extender, right? At the end? No, right there. Alright, what do I do here? Uh, go smash his nose. The gold statue. Hmm. 
smashes. Oh, yeah, smash it. How? Is... Well, how would have anybody figured that out? Right. <laughs> Without a walkthrough. Like I could see the other one being found. Yeah, just by exploring, but that's wow. barely even noticeable. The crack in the nose. The crack in the snoot. Boy, gotta tell you, Jacob, this is going on forever. I mean, this is going on forever. You should see the next episode. <laughs> we'll continue watching this one. All right, I just walk through the. Oh, you did it. Okay. Just gotta grab it. Just fall gently. Ah, oh, you did it. Ooh. Yay. Now y'all smash that subscribe button like I smashed that nose. Yeah. That probably do it better. Alright, so now we need to get all the way to the end. No, now you gotta find a tonic machine. Oh, I know where she's at. That's easy. Oh, you? she's everywhere. She's a freaking weirdo. She's everywhere and nowhere. She's in my nightmares. Right. Is she in a pineapple at the bottom of the sea? There's no shortcut you can take? That goes to the mosh. Hey, you passed Tonic Lady. You said you knew where she was. She's everywhere. <laughs> I'll pass her like four more times. Before you get to the one you want? Great. Did you get all the extenders and the stages? Yes. Cool. We've at least seen so all So you've of pretty the much done everything you can now to this point. Yep, aside from just collecting extra pages for 100%ing. I, I meant like just give you the advantage of beating the boss. You've pretty much done all you can now. Yes. So after you take that tonic. Yep, I'm as good as I get. I'm sorry. <laughs> just... <laughs> Disappointing. Ivory Towers. Oh, yeah. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Alright, I'll talk to you. Are you finally gonna buy my tonics? Can't buy your tonics. Welcome back. Love wire. It better be like extraordinarily faster. Test and see. Wow. So it don't recharge at all unless you deplenish all of it? Oh. oh. How you feel about that one? Well, thankfully, it recharges fast. Um, whoa. Wow, that's, that's actually... very helpful. You have no excuses now. <laughs> Should be a walk in the park. Which one was it? That's not that one. That one. You gotta do the whole quiz over again. It's gonna be different, harder questions this time, too. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I am so excited. Where? Is it up? Way up. Surprise! As weird as it is, I've never seen a naked one of those. They've all been in onesies.
Why didn't you buy my tonic? She rolled her eyes and you I'm not risking getting damaged. <laughs> All right, here we go. Attempt number time? one. This is even a beta attempt. This is attempt like not point oh one alpha. This is the one that counts because you have. Because it's the one else that will finish. <laughs> yeah. It's time to wrap this game up. Thumbnail. I'm king. <laughs> okay. Just more for you to edit. <laughs> At least you don't have to do all the talky talk. Yeah, right? The fact that you don't have to do talky talk on the final boss of a game, yeah. but you do have to do the talky talk on a boss and the casino. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was very annoying. Don't you want to go back there and ride that just for fun? For fun. Well, that's what uh, um, Kartos says at the end. Come on back if you just want to have some fun. Alright. No butterflies lost. We're doing perfect. You know, like six hours of footage of me fighting this dude. You have to kill the boss with exactly one butterfly left to make it worth it going to find that extra one. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> if it's not challenging enough, I challenge you to to purposely get injured. One, yeah. With one butterfly left. What? Oh, you gave up another tonic, didn't you? What? You gave up a tonic. Uh, when you got that live wire one, the one that refills faster, you can only have one at a time. I can say the tonic I gave up was a, a extra butterfly. heart. An extra butterfly, yeah. So I have the same amount of butterflies. Yeah. Now. on and on like a song that never ends it's helpful that the onesie creatures just run after you they don't actually like try to attack you at the same time yeah it's like they get close and then you just stop and stare at him before they decide to attack all right finally <laughs> why is dr quack still even he pushed him over he's a mobile now and he left him It's weird how easy that was, <laughs> but then how how impossible phase two was. So far, which one you played the hardest? Four. Four of the missiles, the missiles. What are you trying to do there? 
So, I was gonna lose a heart anyways from the bees. Oh. So I was seeing if I could get the bees between jumps. Turns out you can't. Uh. So instead of getting hit by bees, I got hit by a bee. <laughs> a big bee. <laughs> right. Big uh. bouncing bee. Just trying different tactics at this point. What? That's not a good hit. I definitely deserve to get hit by the bee. I did not get deserve to get butt stomped. <laughs> for the final part of phase three. <laughs> the third finale. This one's all kinds of unfair. You don't have enough time to sonar blast. This is it. Don't get scared now. Four. Four heart lift. That's a good strategy. Stay on the ground more. Oh Darn. man, so close. Get away from Boop. Wonderful. There it goes. That is helpful. Got him. Give him again. Oh, it went right oh over his gosh. stupid head. Oh no. There it goes. Yep. Oh. So close. Got robbed on that one. He fires three missiles. I think this is going to be the last time. One, two. All right, he's hit me. Oh, man. So close. What in tarnation? But they're all going different speeds. Where's that third one go? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> More hit. Oh no. He just flying right through him. 
That's it. Ah, oh, so close. He flew through him. Oh, so close. You got an unlucky break on that one. How did that one third missile disappear, though? Right. I'm not going to complain, to be honest. <laughs> it's. <laughs> ah, shoot. Alright. So far, so good. No hearts down. There's gotta be some way, though, you don't have to take a hit um, whenever you do the solar explosion on those bees. Because you didn't take a hit down here doing that part. Right? Then take one that time. It's gotta be quick, don't you? As soon as you land, you gotta hit it. The problem is that when falling, if I do the bumper mm -hmm. to uh, <clears throat> get crouched to do the sonar explosion, the bumper also does the butt stomp in the air. Oh, so, and that slows it down. Yeah, that slows me down. So that's be perfect timing between yeah. landing and sonar explosion. Darn. Caught you off guard. Yeah, knock him in the toxic. Oh, you went ahead. Then you were last time. Could be it. This better be it. <laughs> what? I'm not <laughs> gonna weird. argue it. <laughs> you didn't have its bearing straight. Darn it. Yeah, the takeoff time's like a little long. <sighs> Boink. Oh, come on.
It's... <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> there it is. Come on, refill. You didn't let it refill. Oh, we got him. Okay. Can he do it? What did I hit? Still in good shape. Dude. Please. You done please, did it. Please. Uh, you didn't beat my challenge, though. You had two hearts left. Uh, you got to start over. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure I'm just going to fall right into this acid real fast. <laughs> no! Hi. I was only doing my job, you numbskulls. And a poor job at that, Mr. B. The board aren't going to be happy with your performance at all. I should court you. No, wait. I can still win. Don't grasp me up. Never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I thought Capital B was the boss around here. Oh, he's but a cog in a machine. I'm here to monitor the key facts and trivia and then present them to the real bosses in easy to digest bullet point form. That explains the quiz questions. Anyway, the time for talk is over. Better features will be ta taking our book back now. Stop, you fools! You have no idea of its true purpose. When Vile get their, what, their hands on it, we'll rule the world. Quiet, Mr. B. Remember, it states in our con... What? Contracts. Contracts. <laughs> no, I was watching what he was doing. He was going crazy. <laughs> Disclose secret information to whatever. No matter, we'll be taking back the one book now and ending your adventure permanently. Gosh, it was just text scrolled faster. What? What? Hello, it's the first day. Blasto, what are you doing here? Thought I recognized him. Oh, uh, I've got something else stuck in my throat. It's a pagey. It's a bookie. I need assistance. And their story ends. You crazy cannon! We were about to wallop that duck and find all about their secret organization. Phew, I'm much better now, thanks. New no harm done, Blasto. At least we finally reclaimed Laylee's book and ended Hivery Tower's evil scheme for good. That magic book's going straight in the safe when I get home. It'll only appreciate and value. Come on, everyone. Let's get back to Shipwreck Creek and celebrate. Can't wait for 20 more minutes of dialogue. <laughs> Here they all are. It's a party, yo. Can I uninvite some of them? <laughs> like who? 
Cartos. <laughs> <laughs> Not near any carts in particular, but Cartos. There he is. Even Tonic Lady's here. Nom nom nom. A grand party, young warriors. You better have a lot of voices. Nom nom nom. I'm not gonna do all of them. Without mind embarking <laughs> on a numble quest for more cake. I think you've had enough. No, no, listen, not argue. We're all here to celebrate the heroic acts of brave Blasto. Oof. That stings. Yes, very brave. That loose cannon almost blew our heads off. One question, fellas. What exactly did y'all do with that unsavory scoundrel capital B? There's no need to worry about him anymore, Kartos. Thanks to Lady and I, that chapter's been permanently closed. Ah, book joke. Hooey! That's well. A few more adventures like this one and y'all will have almost gone and made it as genuine heroes. Almost? I risk my neck finishing this game. Calm down, Laylee. I'm sure there will be plenty of time to top up our hero kudos in the future. For now, let's kick back and enjoy the massive credit scroll. Yay! We did it! And for another 11 pages, we can expand the credit scroll. <laughs> Hot dang. The Platonic Team. Wow, I can actually pronounce these names. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike some of the names at the end of Nintendo games. Andy and Dean Wilson. Do you recognize anyone? No. Not at all. Additional support. So what's next? Ukulele and the impossible layer? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> We're on retro, I think. Two, 2D side-scrolling action at its best with that one. The 2D champions here. There's your names for you. <laughs> There's some recognizable names. Eric Weekwall Molinius. <laughs> Tim Luzbuzger Robbins. Douglas DeGaulle's Grocer. Special thanks to you for playing my game. Shovel Knight appears courtesy of Yacht Club Games. I've yep. been to the Yacht Club. Extra special thanks to all our backers. Woo! A lot of backers. Go, Jimmy, the basement code. <laughs> Look, Ma, I'm on TV. A large turtle. A lot of AJs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just AJs. We might skip this. <laughs> it's fast forward. No offense to your B's and your C's and your D's. Um, fast forward with R. Wee. Oh. Can you spot your name? <laughs> We're still an A. <laughs> we are still an A. Well, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Gameplay slash somewhat of a walkthrough. Let's play. We and are our stupid voices and commentary. 
Well, at least fifty percent of the voices were stupid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I did like ninety percent of the voices. <laughs> You're somewhere in there, right? <laughs> See ya.